as uh, uh, I was introduced, I'm the MD and uh, CEO of uh, MOSCHIP technology. And uh, let me make this statement. MOSCHIP is the first and true fabless product company out of India. And we designed these chips. They were fabricated in UMC, Taiwan, and they got them tested, packaged there, and they shipped millions of them all across the world. And uh, I mean, we had actually 20 different products. Most of them were connectivity products. And uh, we had customers like Sony, IBM. And believe it or not, the MOS chip product went into Airbus 350. So I mean, this is the type of uh, companies we are trying to recreate now, have more and more of them. And the whole idea of DLI scheme is for making this happen. So one thing that really motivated me to take up this job Mastip is the only company in India that had the DNA to actually build products and take them to production. Then the semiconductor policy was announced earlier this year. The budget was $10 billion. It, it is quite significant, quite impressive. I believe this is the game changer for India. At the Semicon conference earlier this year, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, he gave a speech about Atmanirbhar for semiconductor. It was really, really inspiring. And our honorable MOS Rajiv Chandrasekhar ji was there at the conference all three days. And he was sitting in the front row and listening to every presentation. That showed the commitment from the government in my opinion. So when I moved to India, I thought I would stay here for two, three years and check it out and head back to Silicon Valley. But now I decided. I am extending my stay here. This is the time for India, and we will make these things happen. I mean, the fabulous startups under DLI scheme, in my opinion, that's the perfect answer. At the same time, I mean, this is the uh, you know, personal experience I'm having. So let's say we design a chip. We get it fabricated outside. But there is still a lot of work left. We need to get it packaged, tested, and release it to production. That's where an OSAT in India can really help. That's where we need some infrastructure. So this is again you know, uh, a thing that government is actively working and helping us. So this Atmanibha for the day-to-day -day chips, it's really uh, very much needed, very exciting. But India also should focus on chips that are uh, you know, serious importance for our national security. The NSM, for example, the National Supercomputing Mission, it is a great idea. The CDAC has done a tremendous job in building our own supercomputers. So they're also working on a high-performance computing chip. It's a very exciting, uh, I mean, you know, very high-performance processor. It is using ARM 96 of these cores and, and very high-performance, you know, high-speed interfaces. And, and trying to build this chip using TSMC 5 nanometer process. This is an exciting uh, project, and I really thank Mighty for supporting this. Uh, our Honorable Minister Rajiv Ji, you know, we want to execute this chip under your leadership. Again, I'm proud to say that MOSCHIP is, you know, a shortlisted to execute this project, and we love to make this happen for India. And see, the next generation supercomputer in India can be built with our own processor. These are some things that can be done. And uh, we have Semiconductor Complex Limited. The first fab in India, it is there, still there. And we think it is a hidden jewel. I still feel that we can take that fab and commercialize it and, and make, uh, you know, uh, those, all these chips I've been talking about. They need, you know, they can be done a simple 180 nanometer process. And this is where, again, I feel the mighty should step in and look at the possibility to use these fabs to support uh, the, the startups that are using the DLI scheme. DLI scheme is a fantastic idea. It helps us to create fabless startups that can address domestic needs. And again, if the product is good enough, it can go and compete worldwide. There is no doubt in it, and we can create those products. So I request our top design talent in the country to seriously look into it. And let's focus on an ecosystem to create access to EDA tools, access to the fabs. I mean, until we have our own fabs in the country, to get them test chips, MPWs, this is all you know, very much needed to, for the DLI scheme to be successful.